gonna help the people. That basically helped us get to where we are because when we was in that situation, like whether it was kids or whatever situation people grew up in as kids, um, we had people that helped us. So we want to be role models to everybody. And um, I think kids that see doing a walk for breast cancer tomorrow, I mean tonight, and then tomorrow I'll be uh, feeding the homeless from three to six with a bunch of guys. We just want to show that you know the U.M. family. We're not just, you know, a team right here on the field. We're a team outside of the field. Both the people here, 50 UN guys getting together to go score at 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. Yeah. They would not think a whole lot of good was coming out of that. Time. <laughs> that the first it's unheard of. You really don't hear things like this around the nation because, you know, most guys Saturday night uh, after scrimmage may go to a party or something, whatever it is. But we're deciding that we want to get together and come together as a family and help some people uh, do a walk for breast cancer. And I was saying that you guys... You know, do a lot of this on your own. Like if that. Yeah, yeah. All you got to do is tell it, and we have basically a whole team trying to volunteer to do it. So um, it's not like any of the guys are selfish and worry about themselves. Everybody wants to join in. Where's the walk at? Uh, I don't know where the walk is. Steven is taking care of all that. Uh, okay. I know I'm doing feed the homeless thing, and we just got to come to the buses. I don't know where it's at. Corey, how nice was it being out here today and actually playing a little bit? Uh, it was very nice. You know, we got a chance to showcase some of uh, talent that we have. Everybody did good. The O-line block well, running backs took care of the ball, and receivers made some big plays. So we wanted to just show the fans and the community everything that we had in store for them. How motivating is it to have a crowd like this up in Palm Beach County? <laughs> it's very that? motivating. I think they've been waiting on this for a while now because I don't remember the last time we came this far to for a practice or, or anything. So it's good to show some love to the people that support us and uh, all the fans. And we just want to congrat well, thank them for coming out here and supporting us. What are your thoughts on the three running backs, what they did today? And what does that do for you as a quarterback to have options like those guys to be able to throw the ball to? It puts a big smile on your face. Uh, you go out there, you complete a three-yard pass, and then you hand the ball off and they break for 70 yards. It's a big smile on your face because one, you don't have to be on the field too long, and, and two, you're going to score quickly. So it's, it's basically, as long as we're generating points and, uh, and moving the ball down the field, we just got to take care of our, we got to do better in the red zone. Uh, today, we kind of we kind of uh, didn't do too well in the red zone, or we didn't take care of business down there, but we'll get better uh, because, you know, we drove up and down the field easily. It's just that we got to take care of the short yards in the red zone. How do you think you did, Jafori? How did you know, your performance today? Uh, it wasn't. You know, I did good. I did pretty good. But as a team, I felt like uh, gathered everybody around. You know, took care of took care of what I had to do on the field with my with my teammates, whether I was with the ones or the twos. And uh, we just went in there and just had fun and moved the ball. Did you work playing in front of the crowd like this? It's a little different from practice, isn't it? Well, it is different from practice. It reminds me of my high school days. Uh, that's how our practices used to look in high school. But um, it, it's kind of different. Because now you got the stands involved, and now you can see how many people are actually here, rather than it's just people standing on the sideline. Um, and, it, and it's fun. It's always exciting to play in front of the crowd. You didn't get to air it out much. You know, the deep passes maybe you just threw a couple, possibly. Uh, uh, do you, do you want to do that, or do you understand that, you know? Uh, I'm comfortable with the way that Coach Fish is calling plays. Um, uh, Steven got a chance to hit a shot down the middle of the field to Travis. Uh, but... We just think they don't think, so just took care of business, just draw down the field. Uh, either, And I, I feel like this, we're just going to put it in our playmaker's hand and let them do the work. You see, a couple of times I just throw it to the backs and they score touchdowns. So that's basically what I want to do. Get an easy completion and also you get yardage out there. So that, that works for me. No turnover. turnovers from anybody today. It's big, right? And overall as a team. So I feel like once everybody gets on the same page, and um, like we're doing now, Turnovers will be cut back in. As you see, we was all on the same page, and you know, no more turnovers. Good. Thanks, Jacoby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.